I just got to thinking, just a random thought about tsunamis, you know, sometimes the mind races. And you wonder at what depth you would have to put a nuclear warhead, say you're having a war, United States got into a war with Russia. And Russia doesn't want to bomb the United States because they don't want to fly over. So that what they want to do is something tactical that wipe out both sides. And that's create an equalizing tsunami by creating an underwater double explosion, an implosion with an explosion to create a tsunami on both sides. So the water rushes at the east coast of the United States at like, I don't know, several miles high and at the western seashore of Europe and everyone there too thus wiping out everyone that's in their way that would hold them back at once. I mean, what type of thing would you have to do? Where would you have to be? Uh, you'd have to be like 400 feet underwater, right? Approximately midline, right where the peaks are on the reflective point of the uh, mountainous region there, because there is a reflective point. And then you'd put the nuclear warhead there at that point, And then you'd make the nuke go down and use the deflection of that valley of that mountain underwater to deflect the water up, which would create the biggest fucking tsunami ever on both sides, wiping out the whole east coast of the United States and all of the European countries that would put up a fight. And, and one thing, I mean, this is a reality. We don't need to go to space for this. It's international waters. When... People start talking about needing new technology to destroy each other. It's forgetful that that new technology is just to bolster the fact that you're afraid of the other person. And the more that you talk about needing newer weapons, the more you're saying is, is that you're feeling weaker and that the other people make you feel like you're not so strong. And that's a problem for the people because destroying each other doesn't give the money back to the people to eat. And if you never use those weapons... Imagine how much better it would have been for you to have never have made them. This is just concepts of reality. And the existence of the ability to do what I told you does exist. Theoretically, 